Welcome back fellow model riveters. Today I'm going to do a little bit of scenery here on the tracks on the NWV model railroad and I hope that light isn't bothering the camera too much. What I have, if I can get it on camera here, is the Woodland Scenics track pen and I am going to try and paint the rails in this section here. And I just thought I'd try this out and uh, I was hoping this would be really quick and make this job much simpler. It's not an easy job to do once the tracks are all installed and the uh, ballast is all down. It's kind of difficult. So let me just show you how what I found with this. I tried it in a section to the left of here, a few feet. And it seems to work okay. What I don't like about it is it seems to me like I could do this faster with a paintbrush. I was hoping this would be, I'll show you, I, hope I, I was hoping I could just go like that and it would be done. It doesn't work that well. I have to go and uh, like go in between each fish plate. You know, I have to go like this each time. So this is what it looks like. I'll take the light away. I have to use a bright, bright light to see where I'm working. I don't know if you can tell, but the rail is still a little bit shiny. If I painted this with the normal, what I would normally do this with would be Floquil Rail Brown, which is a little bit more of a rusty color than this. this is kind of just a dark brown. Almost like, uh, to me, like uh, Floquil Roof Brown. And it doesn't really cover as well as the Floquil does. So I'm... Hmm. I'll try and set the camera up in another spot and show you what happens with the Floquil, I think. I, wasn't, I was going to use this pen, but... Hmm. Not sold on it yet. I'll be right back. Okay, back again. This is Floquil Roof Brown here. I'll try it in the front of the rails. A lot of static electricity in here. If I can get my fingers set right, it goes a lot quicker. So I want to see how this looks compared to the Woodland Scenics color. What do you think? Can you see the difference? It's right over here. And it's not covering all that well, is it? Now, can you see the shine? It's not too bad when I take the light away. So at this point, I think I'm going to continue with the Floquil Roof Brown. I'm do the back rail. I'll show you another criticism I have with the Woodland Scenics pen in a couple of minutes here. Once I finish this. The big problem I have right now with Floquil paints is that they're no longer in business. So I've been trying to find an alternative to the and I'll show you the rail brown in a minute here as well, hopefully. Color differential. Okay. I'm going to take you over now and show you where I was working a little bit earlier. Show you some things. Now, I just want to show right there is where I started. And so what I like to do is I like to put some kind of a marker down. And you can see there's a track painter pen there and a piece of masking tape. 
And that's to remind me where I have to start cleaning the rails. So I'm going to go from here around. And there's a tunnel there. I'm not going to go through the tunnel, obviously. And the place we were just working is over there above the lake. So I at least have to go from between those two points to clean the rails when I'm done. The other problem I have with the float quill pen is if you can see right there, I couldn't get in to the switch points very well. It also had a really tough time in these places where the ballast is really high. All right, I hope now you can see how it looks. And one thing you have to be very careful of is on the point rails, I'll put the light down here, up here in the point rails of the switch, you don't want to get any paint down between the point rail and, and the stock rail. And so you have to, you can probably see I stopped painting right about in here. I maybe could have gone a little bit further because the actual contact surface is up in here, but I didn't want to get, you know, it's pretty close. So there's flow quill roof brown. And actually the far rail is the uh, Woodland Scenics rail paint. Uh, like the last time I was doing scenery work, it's really handy to have something like this little tea cart to put your stuff on. You can see I got my paint and some paper towels for cleanup and some lacquer thinner and my brush. Handy to have. Now at this point, I want to try something. I think I've heard people say on YouTube videos that you should use don't let the paint dry completely and then come back with a piece of cork roadbed to clean the tops of the rails. And uh, so I wanted to try that out. What do you think? This must be end scale cork roadbed because it's not, not very big. It works. So what I was hearing was don't let it dry completely. Come back in a few minutes, half an hour. It doesn't work too bad. Now another thing you want to do when you're done is bring a train through and test the track out. Especially when you have turnouts. Make sure the turnout, the points are clean. You want to run a train through. So that works pretty good. It's not perfect. I'm going to have to come back with a bright boy for sure. Anybody notice the telltales there? So I can put the camera. Show it. There we go. So these telltales, there was a telltale on each end of this tunnel and one day I came down to the club and this one was laying down on the ground and I wondered why. And so I replaced the, the telltale back and there was a hole drilled there. And then a few weeks, month, I don't know, later, I brought a train through and I discovered why somebody had pulled the telltale out of the scenery. It's because this was nowhere near tall enough to clear you know, I, it, it'll clear a normal boxcar, but it wouldn't clear like a high cube boxcar. So, what I did was I came up with the idea. This is, a, I thought they were really neat looking, these telltales. And what I did, if you can notice down here, I put a piece of evergreen tubing, just the right size for the telltale post, post to sit in. Drilled a hole for the tubing, put the post down in. And then I can adjust this. Now, I could move this up and down another scale foot or two. Uh, and it's just in there. I think it's just a friction fit. It's glued into the ballast. But it's just a friction fit between the post and my tube that I put in there. Okay, now you can see I've moved the tape up. And you can see the track that I've cleaned. The tops of the rails. I also want to mention something. This is a good time when you're 
paying close attention to the tracks to look for places where um, where did I notice there was a oh there it is there's a feeder wire that somebody had soldered to the side of the rail fine and dandy but it left this bright shiny spot right there Oop, behind the tree right there and so this is a good time to touch those spots up. Another thing I'm up. probably going to do while I'm at it, if you look, there's some places where people have dropped uh, scenery material, hydrocal or whatever, onto the ties. And I think I'm going to come back through afterwards, after I'm done painting and cleaning the rails, and I'll uh, hit those spots with maybe a little bit of black acrylic uh, Okay, back again. Let's show you how it looks now. You see the tops of the rail are nice and shiny. And I'll take you to the right here to where I stopped. You should be able to see pretty clearly the difference. You see the rail joiners stand out right there. So that's going to be it for the track work today. Other than there's a couple little white spots I want to touch up with some gray paint or black paint, one or the other. One of the things I want to be aware of is the fact that sometimes paint can get down into the between the rail joiners and the rail in places like that. And um, so you really need to be careful when you come back and, and test to make sure that they're all okay. And all you have to do in a situation like that usually is just crimp it a little bit with gently with a pair of needle nose pliers. Another thing, another thought that occurred to me down here was it's obviously much much simpler to paint and much better to paint the rail when or before you have scenery down. Some people paint the rail before they even lay the track. Other people lay the track and then paint the rails. Um, I, this is a club layout, so things will get done when they get done. And sometimes people aren't thinking that they want to paint the rail or it's not that important to them. So it's much more difficult um, you know trying to paint down in behind this tree with a paintbrush is not easy um but so would it so would be i think it looks i think it improves the look of the rail quite a bit so now do a little bit of touch up on the ties and the white spots and i'll be done Okay, the track's all cleaned up. I didn't show you the testing, but I did test it. And I just wanted to bring you back. Can you see where the white spots were? Right in there. And there was some on the ties. That was one. In general, I'd say the Woodland Scenics is meh. Okay. I would say that I prefer the Floquil. And that's, again, that's roof brown that I used on that. Usually, I'll show you some rail brown. I think that might be rail brown right there. It's a little more reddish brown. Can you see the difference there? I don't know. So anyways, I'm glad you came along for this little video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a thumbs up down below. If you want to see future videos like this please i don't know, leave a comment or suggestion down below uh, you could also subscribe to my channel thanks a lot and please enjoy your model everything it's a fun hobby